This would be Kofi Olomide's only performance in Kenya during his latest trip here. A performance inside Citizen TV studios that was apparently meant to show that there was no bad blood between him and his dancer Pamela, whom video footage showed him kicking on arrival in Nairobi on Friday. That interview with Citizen TV and brief performance wrapped up Olomide's would-be three-day stay in Kenya. Switch off the engine. Come on! Police officers showed up at the Royal Media Services offices soon after, and the Lingala maestro and his entourage were arrested and whisked away. <laughs> Authorities claim he spent the night at the cells here at the airport police unit. We sought to view the occurrence book inside the police station but were not allowed. However, a source within the station revealed to me that Kofi Olomide and his team were booked in for creating disturbance. The musician, authorities confirm, was deported shortly before midday Kenyan time. His lawyer, Professor George Wajakoya, taking issue with the manner in which Olomide was treated. He denied having actually um, kicked the lady as it's being shown on the media. He said that he just flipped, but he did not kick anybody. The thing is, she told me that it was a commotion between her and the other dancer, and that Kofi came in only to separate them so that they could not actually attract the whims of the media. Which is quite different from what Kofi was telling us uh, last night and uh, during the interview. I came to stop the fight between the, the guy. They told me that he's like a pickpocket in Kenya. He wanted a, a hand, ba hand baggage, luggage of one of my dancers. That's all. And my idea was only to protect my people. Also deported together with Olomide were three of his dancers. The Kenyan government footing the bill of their flight back to Kinshasa. He actually was deported without passports. Because as far as you are concerned, his passports were in the, in the hotel. And I wanted custody of the passports to negotiate for his bail from, uh, from uh, the, the OCS or from the station. Now, before the passports came in, the man was already on the plane. I followed up to find out what's happening. I was denied entry in the airport. At the Bomas of Kenya, an eerie silence. The concert dubbed Ekotite, borrowed from a chorus of Olomide's latest hit selfie, was to go down here tonight. Oh, he's got to me. Tunaomba kama wa Kenya. Kwa nini amwesi kusamea huyu? Sisi tuchese concert yetu tufraie, alafu vitu ifanyike. Watu ukosa, ndiyo ukosa. Lakini hii, mimi ni fani wa kofika pisa mimi. Tutaongea na yeye, aturudishie besetu, ama concert ingine ikuje. Kwa sabu bado mwezi wa nani hiko, watisa hiko, hivyo ndo minaomba. Well, Mopao Mokonzi, as his fans call him, is already in Congo. But whether his promoters would be kind to make refunds to the ticket holders remains to be seen. Selvichabet Citizen Weekend.